What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John plays here, and today we're gonna rank every Legend of Zelda game. This won't offend people. I'm sure of it. And to all my friends out there, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video as we're giving away a Nintendo Switch or $300 of eShop credit and a copy of Link's Awakening or whatever game that you want. I don't judge. Wow, I just realized I'm covered in sawdust. Well, that's what you get for making a new studio. Deal with it. That's right, what kind of YouTuber would I be if I didn't jump on the trend of ranking video games based on little to no expertise other than I've played them? So today, we're gonna be ranking every Legend of Zelda game. However, I don't like the current ranking system, so we're gonna change it. S rank will be best. A rank will be pretty awesome. B rank will be it's all right. And our last rank will be I didn't play it because there's, there's some of these that I didn't play. So even though I own every Legend of Zelda game, that doesn't mean that I've played all of them. Actually, I've, I've played all of them except for the handheld ones. So yeah, great. So first, first thing we need to do is sort out the ones that I didn't play, which includes Link to the Past. Okay, now realize that I also didn't play A Link to the Past on the SNES or the Four Swords Adventure of that, or A Link Between Worlds. Okay, I didn't play the GameCube one, Four Swords Adventure, I need to, need to do that, or Link's Awakening, or Seasons and Ages or Phantom Hourglass, or Spirit Tracks, or Minish Cap, or Zelda 2. I didn't play that one either. Okay, this is gonna be a pretty boring list then. First of all, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild goes down as best because it won Game of the Year, and I absolutely love it. It's the only Legend of Zelda game that I have over 800 hours in, between all my different profiles and playthroughs. Next to that is Majora's Mask because I'm a giant fan of that game, if that didn't make it obvious. Zelda 1 was all right, just because I didn't play it growing up. I played it once I was already grown, and this is a game that requires a lot of trial and error, or looking up a guide and finding out specific blocks that have secrets. And if you don't know those secrets, it's not a fun game. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of the Time is pretty awesome. It really is pretty awesome. Without it, I wouldn't have Majora's Mask. It is the first 3D Zelda game that I played. It is, it's, it's the first 3D Zelda game, isn't it? And it's the first 3D Zelda game. So because of that, I give it the rank of pretty awesome. Going back to the game, it is a lot easier than I remember, and the Skullshillas aren't as fun as I remember. That's for sure. You know what else is pretty awesome? Skyward Sword is pretty awesome. It, it, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I remember my first time playing, I didn't realize that the different way that you shake the Wii controller is the different way that you slice. The first plant enemy killed me like twice until I, until I realized that if I go like that, it does different than that. We need that game on the Switch, yes we do. Next up is Wind Waker. It is pretty awesome. Now a lot of people are giant fans of Wind Waker and are gonna be really upset that I didn't put it in the best category. However, I'm reserving the best category for the best Zelda games. It's the first game that tried an open world concept and you know what? The only reason it's in the pretty awesome category for me because the GameCube version wasn't that fun. It had, there was, there was a lot of quality of life, especially when it comes to like the Triforce shards toward the end and the, the sail that makes you go so much faster. Without those additions, it may have been just all right. But nevertheless, with the Wii U version in account, it's pretty awesome. And Twilight Princess gets a best category. Deal with it. Twilight Princess was the first, first T-rated Zelda? Twilight Princess was the first Zelda game rated T for teen. It had a lot to do with everyone being really upset that Wind Waker looked like you were playing a cartoon. Not only do you turn into a giant wolf, but that actually has functionality and it's a lot of fun. And including the Wii U version that has the, uh, the additional trials that you have to go through, that's great. I always love one of those. It just reminds me of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door in the Pit of a Hundred Trials. One of my one of my favorite video game experiences of all time. And looking at this list, I realized there's a lot of Zelda games that I need to play. A lot of them. Of this, I definitely need to play Four Swords Adventure, because that's a, uh, a Zelda game on a home console. That's pretty much the only one that I haven't played, other than the SNES one, A Link to the Past. Which, I think I played a little bit of that, but then, like, right at the beginning of the game, I was like, I don't know where to go from here. I don't know how to sneak into this castle and I just did not give it the time to figure that out. And there's gonna be a lot of people who are upset with me. Leave angry comments down below. Don't leave angry comments, please. 
nice. And Link's Awakening, I definitely need to play that. I have that, and I put that in my Game Boy SP, and I tried to play it on the plane during a flight, and I was like, okay, this is just not bright enough, so I need to boot up my Super Game Boy and, and play it then. I definitely need to play this before, before the Switch version comes out, because I want to know what's going on getting into it. You know what? We're adding a new category. Yeah, we're officially adding a new category, which is didn't play, but want to. And Link's Awakening and Four Swords Adventure are definitely on there. Out of all of the handheld games, I don't want to play Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. I think I said that already. I think I played a little bit of the Minish Cap on like a ROM or something. Seasons and Ages seem really fun, but that requires a, like a lot of commitment to play both of those. A Link Between Worlds is definitely one of the games that like I feel like I should play and that I will really enjoy. And if I had to pick another one, I would say the Minish Cap. Yes. Oh, and Link to the Past. So there we go. That's my tier list. The best Zelda games are Breath of the Wild, Majora's Mask, and Twilight Princess. The pretty awesome ones are Ocarina of Time, Skyward Sword, and The Wind Waker. Zelda is all right. I didn't play Link's Awakening, Four Swords Adventure, A Link Between Worlds, The Minish Cap, or A Link to the Past, but I want to. And I didn't play Seasons Asia, Zelda 2, okay, A Link to the Past is on here for redundancy, Spirit Tracks, and Phantom Hourglass, so I'm just gonna put that over there. Uh, yeah, I don't have any intention of playing those, especially Zelda 2. Now there are gonna be some people who are completely triggered by my list, but Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild are all in the best category and just below that is Ocarina of Time, Skyward Sword, and Wind Waker, so you can't say anything. I know that there's some of you who may have played some of the handheld games and are completely offended that I have not played them and enjoy that experience, but I don't know. It's hard for me to play handheld games when I sit at home all day. At that point, I'm like, I would rather play this on a TV. And now that I have the Game Boy player, I might just do that. So do you agree or do you not agree with my tier list? Leave a comment down below. And I want to start ending my videos with some inspirational quotes just because I want to and it's my channel. So this one comes from Mr. Rogers. It's not so much what we have in this life that matters. It's what we do with what we have. So take every day that you have in this beautiful world and make it count. So guys, as we get really close to 700,000 subscribers, we're giving away a Nintendo Switch and a copy of Link's Awakening for the Switch or $300 of eShop credit. There's a link down below on how you can enter. Be sure to subscribe and then check that link out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.